I'm Jerry Douglas, and I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to say a few things about the new Selden Synchronized Main Furling System. Firstly, let me start by congratulating the engineers at Seldene for an outstanding piece of work and some beautiful engineering. It's really a game changer for sailors that are especially single-handed sailors and family sailors. We're aboard a Catalina 425 owned by Russ and Marianne Holy, which was one of the first boats to have the system installed in the U.S. I was sort of old-fashioned about this. Been sailing most of my 76 years, and I wanted a regular mainsail, and I wanted manual winches, and bit by bit, I got persuaded to use an in-mast mainsail, but not without a little bit of uh, hesitation. And eventually, we electrified the winches. We're approached by Seldin, or Selden, as we say here in the U.S., to install a motorized mainsail furler and unfurler. They call it SMF, synchronized main furling. I was hesitant again. I thought, gee, I'm going to complicate my life again with more electric stuff. But we did it. And it involves some pretty simple equipment on the outside, a wonderful three-speed winch, some push buttons, and a motor in the mast. Well, you can see the result behind us. This big gray sail, it goes in and out with the push of a button. Probably got between four and 5,000 miles on the system now, and it hasn't hiccuped once. I'm a devotee now of the Selden SMF system. What's wonderful about this system is that it is easy to operate, and it allows people to have the opportunity to operate bigger boats with shorter crews all from the safety of the cockpit. Well, a couple like us of a certain age, we can sail this boat now ourselves. We take turns pushing the buttons, but you know, it's a 43-foot boat. It's a big deal for a couple like us to go out, and we do it more and more and more because it's so easy and it's safe. The main thing I like about it is that it can be just the two of us. When we even had a smaller Catalina, the 38, we always had to have a couple of younger, stronger guys along with us. And now we have privacy. To me, the cornerstone of this uh, synchronized main furling system is this beautiful looking winch here. This could be a trophy for one of our races down to Cuba. It's so beautifully designed. But this has its motor right in, built inside of it. And it's three speeds. The buttons work it here. There's slow, there's medium, and there's fast. That is synchronized with the similar motor that's in the bottom of the mast that's hooked to the uh, furling rod so that that and this work together to uh, pull the mainsail out. And it's synchronized in the sense that it knows where the end of the boom is. It'll pull the sail all the way out to its proper stop and then it quits all by itself. Doesn't matter what you do with the buttons, it knows. So this boat came with a standard furling drum. You can see it's been replaced here by another one of these small electric but very powerful motors. Uh, the, the motor in this guy and the smart winch and in the mast are all the same motor. This now rolls the Genoa out and in. Uh, they all have a fail-safe feature. Uh, if there's too much tension, if there's too much resistance, they will stop before it will damage the sail. In the old days with the furling drum, if it was heavily loaded sail and you're trying to furl, it's very hard to roll that sail up. This guy just takes it in stride. You push a button, it's actually a two-speed, and uh, It'll roll this thing right up, and you never have to worry about getting in and around. So a year ago, when the Selden team came on the boat to install this really remarkable new equipment, I was a little concerned. I thought it would take a long time, and it would be complicated, but uh, these fellows installed the mechanical part in one day, and we did the wiring the next day, and we were out on the bay the following day using it. These guys are the brains of the whole installation. Um, 
One of them is the power supply. It's basically a step-up transformer, very smart, computer-driven, that takes the 12-volt battery and turns it into a 42-volt supply. And then we've got a um, motor control unit for the uh, motor that's in the mast that drives the, uh, the furling rod that's in the mast. And then back here that you can't see is another similar box. Uh, and then in the back of the boat, we have a, a fourth one. And those little gray boxes um, are the brains of the whole system. With this system, you can have an infinite number of sail shapes and sizes, really, and you can adjust at the push of a button without moving from the helm. So as conditions change, as the wind comes up, you can shorten sail a little bit. As the wind drops, you can enlarge your sail plan. And I now think about sail trim as part of the whole calculation. It really lets you tune the boat perfectly to every condition. 